pay you. Do you have a coffee or a smoky treat or whatever you do need? Because we're going to try something different today. I've been filming in the creases between things. Um, and so I wound up with all this footage from the last six weeks. None of which told a complete story until I put them together. I mean, primarily it was about onions. The thing that struck me most deeply is that what I had actually gathered together was a list of gratitudes. I invite you to come share in my favorite moments. Most of them are on the way to the barn. There's some wildlife in there. There are cool bugs. There's fresh fruit. So grab you a drink. I want to show you how the season is astounding me so far. We have strawberry fruits coming in. How exciting. These are the last of the radishes and I'm I'm gonna pull these and holy cow, look at the size of you. It's like somebody started eating this one. So we're gonna pull the last of these and I'll, I'll figure out something else to go in here. Most of this is just chicken food at this point. Like, yeah, be really careful because there's carrots in here. So I got a nice pile of chicken scraps here, really. And I'll find something good to put in here for the rest of the season. Y'all, remember when I told you that there was wild strawberry in the lawn? Look at this. Tiniest nibbles. This is roses and blackberries all over the place. Some irises that we planted. The air is perfumed, y'all. This is my morning walk to the barn and 100% this is my definite favoriteest way to start the morning. I am a morning person, but I'm a quiet morning person. So this walk feels really personal and fresh and meditative. I get to see what it's doing today. And every day is just a little bit different. Looks like we're going to need some gravel delivered because the... Uh, the gravel down here is sprouting. This is chamomile, and it's kind of everywhere in this gravel. Hi, girls. What's going on? How are you doing? <laughs> they know I'm coming inside. It's a nice clean barn. So proud of it. Was a family effort to get this place cleaned out. We've still got a lot of extraneous business in here, but dude, it looks so much better. It smells so much better, too. Hi. Hello, ma'am. What's going on, pipes? I see you. Hey, good morning. Welcome home to Mailer's Landing. I'm Sue and we're here in Gardening Zone 6B in New England. And my garlic scapes are ready to harvest. The scape is the flower stalk of the garlic. And you can see this is the bud right in here. And left to, left to its own devices, I'm pretty sure it would blossom. I'm trimming the top so that the plants can divert all their energy into 
putting out that bulb. We're gonna be looking at harvesting in like what? Three, four weeks? Super excited. This is my first winter sown garlic at the new place. It didn't feel like home until I had put something in. So there you go. I also today wanna do a little bit of allium care. Let me grab my shears and we'll go down. I keep looking at these, they're so curly. They're so much fun. So let's, let's harvest a few. So I'm really just cutting them down. There we go, escapes. And I'm gonna put these into, um, I've brought a jug of cold water over with me. When the scapes get twisty, that's when it's ready to pull them. And you can add that to pesto. You can put them on the grill and they're delicious. Last year, we found out that we could beer batter and deep fry them. Garlic scapes are super versatile in the kitchen. You can pickle them, you can freeze them for use in stocks. I've added them like straight up to scrambled eggs and on top of nachos. The flavor is a little milder than garlic, like without that little spicy bit at the end. And their texture is similar to a snappy asparagus stock. It's definitely a part of this growing season that I look forward to cooking from every year. So my peas and onions are coming in so beautifully. Let me show you, let me show you. Snow peas. Look at these things, so pretty. They may or may not be snow peas, but I'm gonna wait a while. I'm really just enjoying the blossoms. That's a tomato that I did not plant. God bless them, I love me some volunteers. I am loving seeing what growing onions in the sunshine is like. It's so much better. I'm already seeing like these great swollen bottoms. I know they don't really bulb out, bulb out until after solstice, but yeah, I've never, I've never had them look quite this good. This is really exciting. We're looking a little scraggly here. Stuff is starting to fall over in other places. So I figure, oh, you don't belong in here. It's probably time to start trimming this stuff. There are a few reasons you might do this. Um, my favorite reason is so that they don't get blown over in a bad storm. I did not keep good records of what I planted here. And, but I think these are yellow onions. This is the fun game that I like to play all summer. What the hell are we harvesting? I'm pretty sure I got some Walla Wallas. So I think that's what these might be. This is the last tub. It's already starting to look so much neater. It's been a hot minute. You want to see what's going on in the garden? Because there's a lot happening here. First and foremost are my beet friends over here. They're pretty bushy and there's a lot of beet hanging out on top of the straw. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's see. Those beets are just about ready. These beets, these beets look ready. What I would like to do with this patch is get the beets in, um, the ones that are ready, and then figure out what we're going to plant where the beets were. Um, I'm really, I'm really looking forward to succession sowing this year. I think because my energy has been so all over the place and I'm spending so much time just being tired and then resting that and then getting really productive for a minute and then 
resting and so it's a cycle that needs to happen my mantra lately has been it's it's not all going to happen in this year it, it just won't so let's pick some beats Go. First beat. All right, I'm gonna get in here. It's been really rainy, and that has been just excellent for the garden. Got away for a couple of days with Bill for our anniversary, and came back, and all this stuff was ready. The shoulders came right out of the dirt for us. Big one. Look at this big buddy. And a couple of golden beets. Something started snacking on my carrot top. So I started to pull them and got some of these cute little Parisian carrots. Just got a little handful and one of these guys. I did miniature carrots for the most part. Let's see. Ah! Yeah, this is another one of these round Parisian carrots. Hello, tiny. Come on out. I'm noticing there are plenty of beetles and bugs in here, so that may have something to do with what's happening. Okay, so this is, I think, the black and purple tomatoes patch. A lot of stuff, this is like queen of the night. Ah. These keep breaking off in different places. Something ate a bunch of stuff in here. Um, and the stuff that survived, man, they're doing great. Let's see if we can prop this girl up just a touch. Yeah, the tomatoes for the most part look like they're doing all right. There are spots in these bales where I'm just like, dude, I don't even know what, what kind of wildlife is in there. All the asparagus is going to fern now. It's kind of cool. Ooh, troublemaker. Had some strawberries. Oh, somebody started eating that one. Hello, friend. I think that'll be ready in the morning. A few little ones. Most of our strawberries have yet to make it into the house. Like, they get snacked on right away. It was really hot for a few days, so I had some stuff just drop blossoms. Super hopeful about these peppers. This one looks all right. Um, these guys have had, I don't know if this bale wasn't, um, didn't take to the conditioning as well or what the scoop is, but I'm probably gonna have to amend. Same thing's going on with my cucumbers. You know, there's a part of me that kind of feels like this may be a thing that's going to pass in a few weeks because the season for those bugs is done. Fingies crossed. Oh, hey, look, we got a zucchini growing. Hello. Got some here, too. All right, we're setting fruit. May the odds be ever in your favor, friends. This has come back, this beautiful lemon balm. Oh my goodness, it's so fruity. It's like the lemon pledge plant. I've got it over here with this Queen of Siam basil. I'm just so licorice This is probably my favorite basil. Let's get some of these flowers out so that it will not go bitter on us. Mm. Right, it looks like the red onions take a little bit longer to develop than the yellow onions over here. So our volunteer tomatoes coming in and I'm just letting them do their thing. These are leeks, so we won't see any kind of a swelling over here in the bottoms. But yes, yeah, some of the red ones are going to be ready, like this guy down in the end. He's going to be small, but looks pretty good. Um, we did a test on the garlic. That's going to be ready probably by the weekend, too. 
these red ones. These, these will be the pickling onions if we decide to pull them. These guys feel like they still have time. They haven't bent down, they're just lying down. So I'm thinking about this guy over here. That one's done. Yeah, we'll see. We've got hickory nuts coming in. How cool is that? Good morning, barn. Sweeties. What's up, Marcia? Hello. What are you doing? Hello. Hello. Gratitude to the gardener who walked here before me. She left raspberries and blueberries and apple trees. And every time I turn around, I find perennials and herbs that have reseeded that I want to cook with. It's these little onion flowers that are down here in the bittersweet. This is actually uh, ramp flowers. This is what it looks like when it blooms. You just leave them alone. The stuff around it is bittersweet. Um, hopefully we'll be pulling that out at some point soon. Little green peppers. What we're hoping is that these trees grow up. This beautiful bouquet dill. So here we are on like the 12th of July. We're looking pretty good. A lot of things that were starting to look a little sick are bouncing back. These sweet potatoes just suddenly like got taller, a lot taller. These ones a little less so, but these ones look great. A couple of the bales seem to have an issue with blossom end rot. Um, so I'm just keeping an eye on it and really, really being careful so I can pull off the stuff that's not being productive. These tomatoes look fantastic. I don't know that I'm going to trellis any of this, to be honest with you. Um, this is the first year I've been strategic with marigold plants in with the tomatoes. Definitely going to repeat that. She is a blush. All right. Got some carrots still in the ground. They seem to, most of them are springing back. Not that one, but most of them. The tomatillos are starting to spring back. 
Yeah, I've got Japanese beetle bags and I'm gonna hang them. Get these peppers. Eggplants are doing all right. My mom had great time with the soil over here. We got this wild chamomile. It smells fantastic, but it didn't petal, so I didn't really collect any of it. Um, this was entirely volunteer. A little bit of lettuce going to seed. Mom's been doing cut and come again. We've got babies coming in. Tomato friend. We've brought in how many zucchini, Mom? Three. Brought in three zucchini? These are June bearing strawberries, so I think they're all done for the season. Mom's got some more dill and some cucumbers coming in over there. Oh, it's time to harvest garlic, I think. We may even be a little bit late. What you thinking, Mom? I think we'll be fine. You think we'll be okay? Oh, yeah. All right, let's see if this requires implements or if the ground is possibly soft enough. Oh, nothing. We need nothing. <laughs> I've never grown garlic in the sun before. These are huge to me. <laughs> so this one was harvested just a touch late. What we'll do is we will eat you first, friend. Man, look at the size of these. They're one I know. I'm thrilled. I'm absolutely thrilled. Ready to go see about some onions? I am ready. This was a real treat. This is fun, right? Mm, I love harvesting. So the leeks are doing really well. Mm -hmm. The tops that we chopped off have grown back. They get a little beat up in the rain. Mm -hmm. So they're all kind of swaying. A couple of stray peas coming up here and there. We'll see what happens with them. And I put in squash and or melons in pretty much every place where we had the peas. My goodness, this tomato. Oh, we have quite the cherry tomato. So, look at these guys. I've been aching to pick these guys. These are onions as well. Yes, yes. Ooh, ooh. Can uh -huh. we start? Yeah, go ahead. Wow. I've been wanting to pluck this onion from the ground for days now. <laughs> When I say flopped over, this is what I'm talking about, about that flopped gorgeous. over. That is so. all gorgeous. I've never grown an onion this big. Let's see. Yay. Look at the size of these. <laughs> these are wonderful. These red ones are not quite as big, and the necks are still, well, you know what? This one's soft. This one's soft. That's as big as it's going to get. Ooh. That's nice. that's, uh, that's respectable. Yeah. Historically, I have been a terrible onion farmer. Years after year after year, I have lost my onions, among yeah, other things. Here. <sighs> Look at that. <laughs> You're adorable. I'll have to send pictures to Alan. like a huge harvest but this is kind of perfect this will get us through autumn really really grateful
I'll see you again, hopefully soon, maybe August. So let me know what you think about this format going forward. I had a lot of fun putting this together. It felt very luxurious to see most of the summer like end to end before we get to the dog days. Um, I will catch you up soon. Take care. Come on. Oh, me. Come on. Us. Uh. Them. Them. Oh, come on. yeah, come on. Come on. <laughs>